Hello and welcome to Cake It Eliza. Today I'll be taking you through how to decorate a bluey cake. Yes, you heard me, a bluey cake. I hope you enjoy watching. If you do, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. One important thing to use when you're making this cake is to have some sort of cutout stencil that you can use to help with the sizes, with um, the shapes, and I would say this really helped me. And these stencils can be printed online. Search downloadable printable stencils and I'm now cutting out the snout and ensuring that everything is good. And so previously it wasn't shown but I had already done the eyebrows and some other things. Here you can see I'm cutting out the ears. Basically it didn't show with the blue this is Bingo's ears, but it didn't show with the blue part. I did exactly the same thing and I rolled out a piece in order to stick the toothpick on the back, as you can see here, to ensure that it stays firm when it's dried up and inserted in the cake. Then I left it to dry and repeated the process. I then go on to make the inner part of the ear in a different shade. Also, I didn't get to talk about the fondant colors that I used. Um, what I did, I made, I'd made the blue earlier and that was um, just with white fondant and I used royal blue gel colors. I mixed it, mixed it until it got deeper and deeper to the color that I desired. Then with regards to bingo colors, I had red, yellow, made it the colors that I needed. Added whites when needed, when necessary. And then with the lighter shade, I did the same thing and added white. Here I'm using the lighter shade of Bingo's colour to make the snout. As you can see, I'm moulding it to the shape. So it's really handy to have the stencils, as I said. And um, with this one, I slightly made it a bit higher just to give a contrast between Bluey and Bingo's snout. So I did use that, but I used it as a guide and made it slightly higher. And then for Bluey's nose, I used the exact guide and shape that I have here. Moving on to the eyes, what really helped me here was having the template and I cut the eyes out and positioned everything accordingly. The white part and the black pupil part and how it aligns with the snout and you'll see what I mean later on. What you see me doing here is just trying to make the white part of the nose. So I just thought I have a little piece of white front and let me just do that. I'm smoothing in out the edges, any rough edges, just molding it and making sure that it's nice and smooth. Here are the snaps that I did earlier. As you can see me, I'm lining up the eye bits because that's where the eye sits. I'm making the patches of the eye where the eye balls are going to sit into. So once you see it all, you'll realize what I mean. I was just being creative. I used the, the smoothness to achieve the shape. This is pretty straightforward. I'm just doing the nose, outlining it. It's quite fiddly. And I also did the black pupils. That Slowly but surely I'm putting all the pieces together. 
what I used again here was the stencil just to ensure that I'm putting the pupil in the right place and just kneading up the nose and then applying the white right part of the nose just kneading it up and here I made the gluey bingo chest And here I'm just adding some buttercream to the cake and if you'd like to know how to frost your cake I have some other videos that shows the process so do check my playlist I have a playlist that teaches you the basics on how to ice your cake so there you go that's the chest area Here I am applying the eye patches and the snout but I made sure to apply some buttercream to that so that it could stick to the cake with the help of the toothpick and inserting the eyes here so you can see how everything falls into place. have the same frosting process here and this cake was a bit crooked and I also have a video that shows you how to correct a crooked cake so do check out my playlists repeating the same process with the chest and the snout I would recommend that the snouts and all the other like the eyebrows and the snout to be made some days in advance so that it is firm but things like the eyes I did on the day so that it can be adjustable and you know fit into the areas that it needs to fit into so it's time to stack the two tiers together and I'm using a central dial here just have to make sure the top tier has a hole in the middle of the board to ensure this process is easy just adjusting it in. And as you can see there's a line for where the tears meet and I would just advise that you use some buttercream to fill in any spaces necessary. The final bits and um, these eyebrows I just follow the shape of the template and use edible glue to ensure that the toothpicks stick in and there you have it. That's our blue cake completed. So I hope you enjoyed watching my tutorial. If you did, please don't forget to drop a comment below, subscribe and like. Thanks for watching.